night, good morning, or afternoon. It's Thursday, but I gotta change the date. Please don't fall. Hooray! It did now correct. Thank you. Um, we are working on 26 and 27,000 today. Um, and we are actually going on an adventure. So today is the first first of three days that a local um, wholesale uh, gemstone dealer is open to the public. This is going to be the second time I've gone because the first time was super cool. Um, so I have a, um, I wanted to go again. So I texted my cousin. I was like, hey, is there any particular crystal that you uh, need and or want? So I have an excuse to go. Uh, to get her something. <laughs> um, but really, I just want to go again. Um, I don't know how much I will be able to film in there, if at all. So I don't think I will film like a shot of the whole place, even though it's super cool. Um, I will put a link to their Instagram down in the description. It's called Planet Earth Rocks and Crystals. Um, they have some really cool uh, videos of the types of um, stones that they carry. Um, but yeah, so I, but I might be able to film like a close up of the particular uh, stones that I'm picking up. So I'll try and do at least that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am interested because um, I got this lovely little chunk of amethyst. Let's see if I can do it justice. Uh, this was eleven and a half dollars at the last sale. So, um, you know, really good prices. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm going again, uh, with the excuse of getting my cousin something, but I'll probably pick something up for myself. Um, but yeah, so she has requested moonstone or obsidian. She gave me a budget. So we're going to go with that. I think we'll be able to find her something really cool. Um, but yeah, so I've also packed my laptop in my book bag because after we go shop for rocks, we're gonna, uh, go work at a coffee shop. All right. See you there. Here we are. Just a warehouse. But it's gonna be cool. Like, hecka, how can you not? These are all massive slabs of citrine. Lovely, lovely amethyst. Um, we got plenty, plenty of amethyst. And just, we've got some polished berries, one of which I'm picking up. Um, <laughs> but then, got some spare spheres there, some raw geos, some amethyst points, um, and just, just the ridiculousness. Um, and as you can see, it's massive. It's totally massive. Like some of these. Like that one right there. Look at those prices. Ridiculous. So good. Um, okay, I have picked up a couple things. I have picked up two things for my cousin and several things for myself. Um, I'm going to continue shopping and I will see y'all later.
spheres that you could possibly want. Um, and they are very reasonably priced. It's kind of ridiculous how, how much I have paid in other locations. But of course, again, this is wholesale, so it's fantastic prices. Here's more of the pure hoods. I see their prices. Um, just, it goes on forever. And I am here for it. <laughs> Alright, so I am back in the car. Um, I have finished my crystal shopping uh, for the foreseeable future, again, because of budget. Um, the prices were great. I think they were like a tad bit higher on certain items. I, I think probably the ones that have become popular in the last couple of years uh, or the last couple of months. Um, and they had sort of like a different variety of things. Like they had way more rainbow moonstone this time uh, than they had the time before, but they had less of other types of stones. I think less of like ocean ocean jasper in some in some forms so they had things like pyramids versus towers versus bigger towers versus palm stones versus eggs and said so they had all kinds of shapes for a lot of the polished um items they had uh quite a bit more of the raw stones this time although last time i think i did not come on the first day uh nor as early in the morning um so perhaps that was some of it i don't know either way i did get some things um and i will sort of show a couple of them uh when i get home this evening or later this afternoon but uh, i have succeeded in getting my mission accomplished in that i got the things that my cousin wanted um <laughs> i texted her because i forgot to ask what shape she wanted I can't remember if I've told you this before or not. I forgot to ask what shape she wanted. She wanted uh, she wanted moonstone and she wanted um, obsidian. But when I got there, I, I remembered to ask her if she wanted polished or raw. Uh, they didn't have any raw of either of those two, uh, but they did have lots of forms of the polished. So um, I neglected to ask her what shape she wanted. Uh, did she want like a bowl? Did she want a wand? Did she want a, um, a sphere? Did she, you know, pyramid? Any of that? Like I forgot to ask her what size. So I texted her uh, a picture of uh, just like one of their towers and um, pyramids effect. Uh, since I took the picture, I should be able to pop it in the video. Um, so here you go. Um, so I texted her sort of those and told her what the prices were. They were $8 each for these smaller pyramids and towers. Um, and then they had some other shapes as well. And then when I went over to the spheres and was telling her about those as well, I sent her another couple pictures. Uh, she asked for, um, she asked for the obsidian pyramid and a moonstone sphere. I got her the, the nicest one I could pick out. Um, and then I saw that they had peach moonstone as well. So I sent her a picture of the rainbow and the peach side by side and asked her which one she wanted. So she wanted the rainbow. Um, so I picked up those two and then I wandered around for far much, far too long uh, because I found too many things for myself. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, I will show you all that later for right now. I'm going to take my sun shields off of the uh, windshield and I'm going to head over to a uh, coffee shop. So I will have some, um, I think I'm going to go for tea this today, like iced tea, maybe a green tea. I don't know. Uh, but we are going to get something cool to drink while we write. Got my tea. Here's the starting point. This is after one is burnt. Okay, back in the car again. Um, I have finished at the coffee shop. I then popped across the street. Um, I have to run and get a couple of groceries. Um, but while I was at the coffee shop, I stayed there for um, about two and a half hours. Uh, I, I started writing um, just after one uh, and I just left the coffee shop and it's 3.30. So I spent 
probably approximately the same amount of time that I would normally while streaming. Um, I got four sprints in and I got um, over 2,000 words, so I am happy with that. Um, I have uh, only a couple of clips from inside the coffee shop because I forgot they played sort of like house music. Um, so I don't know how much of that audio that I'll be able to use. And I forgot to do a finish clip after I like, um, did all of my words. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, you'll just have to take my word. I did get my 2k. <laughs> um, I think that puts me up at 28,000 for the month. I'll have to double check in my, uh, stats, uh, page, st stat tracker or whatever whatever I'm calling it, the sprint tracker. There we go. Um, for the exact word count, but yeah, so I'm happy. Uh, I did a little bit more work with the chronological scenes that I was working on. Uh, and then I also did, uh, a little bit of the very end of the story. So like the, the end type of thing. Um, or maybe it's the epilogue esque sort of like yeah, I think it's more epilogue than, like, the final battle or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so I did a little bit on that. Got some conversation bits uh, that needed to come out um, in their first draft conversation. So, I'm sure I will clean it up and make it better. But anyway, so I'm here at the grocery store and I'm going to go in um, and get some groceries. Okay, so here's sort of my the primary things that I got for myself today. Um, there was this really nice chunk of Jasper made into a bowl. Um, I love the little twinges of red on there. Um, and you can see just the, it's very rough, sort of just, not super rough, but very much chiseled on the back just to make it sort of flat and even. Um, I found this little cute piece of citrine. It's got a couple of, uh, inclusions or air bubbles in it, but I just, he's so cute and like chunky. I really like him. Anyway, uh, very yellow, bright yellow, a lot more vibrant than I normally would go for. I do have another piece of citrine that's a little bit more orange, but, um, I decided I wanted to go with that one. Um, the piece of selenite, or the, the selenite tower that I have here is going to replace a slim piece of selenite. Sorry, let me uh, unwrap it without them. Okay, I've gotten it out of its package. So this is to replace a piece of selenite that I have that's more of like just a slim wand shape. I don't really care for the small one that I have. I haven't really found it to be like useful and or exactly what I wanted. So I wanted a sort of nicer piece to kind of reflect the light a little bit better. Um, so got that. It looks very, <laughs> looks very odd looking at it from top down, but whatever. Um, and then I got the jade tree. I do have to still fluff this. As you can see, the, the branches are all still kind of clumpy because I just got it out of its little wrapping. Um, so I'm excited to do this. It looks like a little, it will look like a little jade bonsai tree. It'll be very, very happy. Um, and then the last thing I got is the soda light tower. So um, I saw this and I was like, oh, it looks like a galaxy. It looks like deep space and like a nebula or <laughs> I was just like, ah, this is, this is definitely have to have. So this one was 550. <laughs> um, the little piece of citrine was actually uh, eight. Uh, this was 15. And I know that I have seen this for like 35 to 60 in a store that is also local. Um, this piece was more expensive. This was five dollars. And I also went and looked back at my calculations. And if I have done them correctly, I'm at 27,500, almost, almost 600. Um, so I'm not quite at the 28,000 that I thought I was going to be at. So I might just go ahead and do another 425 words tonight. And, um, but I'm going to try and edit this into some semblance of a, a real vlog, <laughs> uh, before it gets too late and I get too tired and then just put it off for far longer. Um, so yeah, so that is, that is my day. <laughs> 
this is my attempt at a vlog uh, for Crystals and Coffee Shop. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, give it a like and uh, thumbs up, comment uh, what your <laughs> favorite stone is if you have a favorite stone. Also, I'm considering, I think I've mentioned this in the live stream, but I'm considering doing um, just a crystal tour or maybe if you would prefer rather than just a full on like here's all my crystals uh if we should start creating a author tube crystal tag video uh let me know if you are interested in seeing something like that um but yeah so i will be around i stream monday wednesday fridays one to three and sundays two to five to get all of the writing done <laughs> Uh, because it helps me immensely and I try not to uh, procrastinate during those streams, uh, which is not the case when I'm off of stream. I tend to procrastinate a lot, hence my username. So if you want to come along for more writing and whatever the heck this channel is, feel free. Alright, I will see y'all later and have fun. Don't forget to save. Save, save, save.